Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you the behind the scenes of how I film my cards. So I have music always playing on in the background. Obviously I can't play that for you guys because, yeah, <laughs> it'll get copyrighted. I have this stand that I purchased off eBay. It just holds my phone. So the phone I use for filming is the Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, it's just a spare phone that I've had for a while. And as you can see, what I do is I tend to work out what I'm filming before I start to film. So I pick out all the stamps and stuff that I need. And I know you can't really see much right now, but it, it was kind of hard to film and show you guys while actually doing it. So what I do is I film my intro, which is showing you everything I use, working out my layouts, pausing it while I do that, and then coming back in when I start to actually proceed with the progress. So. I pause the video before I can show you so I will go in and I'll stamp all my sentiments and stuff and what I tend to do is I tend to pause my videos in between setting everything up in my stamp um, platform and I remove whatever I need to sometimes I will leave my sentiments in and stamp them at the same time um, but in this case I didn't want to do that because I am going to be doing some ink blending behind the scenes of that so I'm going to also stamp my masking paper, which I didn't film on my my phone, um, but I filmed for you guys in the behind the scenes. Um, I was going to try and film like me fussy cutting for you guys, but obviously I couldn't really hold my camera. But as you can see, you just see the steps of what happens every time I come to film. So while I'm cleaning between stamping and stuff, I don't film that on my phone. Um, I think otherwise people will just get really bored. Um, sometimes I do leave it in. It just depends on how fast I make the card. Um, again, here you can see I'm putting my stamp positioner back in and putting all the sentiments back in. And I'm not actually filming on the phone. I'm only filming this bit for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. So there's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes and some of it is picking out colors and stuff. So... Like for this one, I'm picking out the colors that I want for my image and, you know, sometimes I'll have an idea, sometimes I'll just wing it. Um, in this case, I winged it and I actually get a question of somebody like, how do you know which um, section is for which color? Um, I did label all the way down the side, but after a while you start to remember where things are and what number is wrong and, you know, all of that. You tend to pick it up. So... I'm going to show you guys me just picking out the colours that I need and yeah, um, this if you want to know what the storage unit is, it's the actual Spectrum Nose um, pen storage um, and I have, I think, two sets, maybe three. I can't remember if it's two or three. I think it's two sets altogether, um, but I do need to buy a third set because I am purchasing some more colours in the future. Um, but until I actually purchase enough of them, I'm not going to purchase that yet. So here you guys can see I have a basket of where all my colours go in once I finish colouring. So I can use them to use my links and stuff later. And again, I will pause videos while I'm picking out embellishments and stuff. And getting everything that I need to adhere it and add the extra little details. So I, I do tend to pause my videos quite a lot. Um while I'm filming because sometimes I will get distracted or I need to find something or you know take a phone call or something so I tend to pause it a lot and that, that's me basically finishing filming so you guys can see like on the top it is paused again before I try to glue everything down um, so I'm showing you guys what I'm doing I'm not showing the actual camera itself I know this isn't really the best explanation, but it's the best I could do with only having one phone stand. So here I am filming the outro of my card. So I did do a, a close up before I filmed this bit for you guys, um, but this is what I tend to do. I try and save it on a yeah, even number. I don't know why I do that. But now I've finished filming, I will just take my phone out, put it to the side, and then I will take my stand down because otherwise it's in the way for when I do my links and stuff. So this easily just folds down. It's a bracket that's clamps to the desk. And I found this one's the easiest one to work with personally. Um, so I'm just gonna pop that to the side out of the way. And then everything I used, I put into the basket across from me because 
that's what we need to get links for and stuff and I just put my card out of the way because I need to photograph that later. So here is all the supplies that I used, it's in these baskets and this is what I tend to do just to keep an idea of what I used to. Um, I used to write it down on a piece of paper but the amount of times I would ever lose that piece of paper was ridiculous. So now I'm just showing you the behind the scenes of the actual links that I do. And it's so hard to type with one hand, I'm much faster and yeah, like I said, obviously you guys don't see much on the camera, but you see enough to understand what I'm doing. So right now I'm just typing in what I used, so the stamp I used, um, which is the Safety First by All and Craft, uh, All and Create I think, it's All and, All and Create. And then I just do that for everything that I used. Um, and then I go over to my actual Google um, Chrome and I will type in, I have three sites that I have pre-saved on my homepage. So one is Dice to Die For, the other is Seven Hills, and then the third is um, eBay. Because they're the most frequent places that I purchase stuff from. Um, I do sometimes purchase from different places, but not enough to actually save those links. So if I need them, I will just go up and, you know, save that. Um, but the reason I'm doing this video is because a couple of people have actually asked me, like, how I got into YouTube, how did I, like, pick up how to film and stuff. Honestly, it was really much trial and error, seeing what worked, what didn't. And I was, if you go back onto my very first video, which is actually a haul video, you can see that I was speaking really fast, um, wasn't really doing much, um, didn't have much confidence in myself as it was, um, and I wasn't much of an organised person. So a lot of things have changed, I have noticed that. Um, so yeah, go back and check out my very first video, you will see a difference. Um, obviously the video software hasn't changed, um, but here's the site that I'm using, I'm using Dice to Dive for, so in here I'm just typing in one of the stamps that I used, and we're going to press search. And then it comes up with the ones that I used. And what I'll do is I'll just copy the link and then paste it onto my Word document. And then sometimes the URLs are too long. And I did a video a couple of weeks ago about how to shorten those. So make sure you go check out that video. I will link that in my description for you guys so you can just go and check those out. Um, I am also going to be doing a behind the scenes of how I edit my videos as well so you guys can see like the process of me editing a video because I know a lot of people have been asking me how I use my video software editor and how I upload my videos and stuff so I am going to be doing that as well. So yeah, but I noticed a lot of the times when I have actually did start YouTube I was looking for video ideas like how to start it where to go, what was the best thing to try, and a lot of the times it always came up with iMac, um, iPads, you know, software for iPhones and all of that for Apple, and a lot of the times when I Google stuff for Android, nothing comes up, and I found out yesterday that I'm not the only person that's noticed that, so that's another reason why I'm making the video, because everything I used is an Android. So my Samsung Galaxy S6 is an Android, the tablet I'm using to actually record this right now and edit this is an Android as well, it's a Samsung Galaxy A Note. Um, my actual personal phone is a Samsung Galaxy S5 mini. Um, I also have another spur of Samsung Galaxy S9, um, which I'm not too keen on so I don't really use that much, it's just there if I need it. But yeah, this is basically what I'm doing. I'm just getting all my URL videos. Um, and as you can see right now, I'm just going onto eBay to look at the, the, the ink that I purchased. And I've just noticed a mistake there, guys. So I typed in Distress Ink, and that just came up with a Distress Oxide. So I need to change that. So sometimes that does happen, like, especially when I'm not fully concentrating on what I'm really doing. I'm focusing right now on filming the behind the scenes for you guys so I wasn't really paying attention to notice that until right now while I'm editing it so I will go back in and fix that but this is what happens this is the majority so also I do link all my colors of pro markers that I use so it has a name and then it has like a little code at the end 
and that's basically what I do. I fill that in. I also need to get links for my embellishments. So yeah, everything I use is always linked in the description for my my followers. Um, you also do get a limited space in your video um, description, which is something I was struggling with, but now I know how to shorten my URLs. It's not a much of an issue anymore. Um, but yeah, so in my next video for the behind the scenes, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically edit a video, add music and all of that sort of stuff. Because you do have to be careful with copyright music and stuff because you can lose monetization through that. And, you know, the software I use is great for adding music, but sometimes even though it does say it's copyright free, it doesn't necessarily mean it is on YouTube. It could be on another site, but on YouTube, it's not. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to insert some music, and I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell. It will update every time I upload a video. And go over to my Instagram, follow me over there. Um, but until the next one, I will talk to you guys then. Um, and I do just show you a quick clip on me setting up my photo booth. For my photos and then me cleaning up my desk area but until my next video guys stay safe and happy crafting